Hey folks, uh, this lesson is graphing absolute value functions. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. So here we go. We uh, How can we identify the features of the graph of an absolute value function? Okay, so what is absolute value? Absolute value of x is written with uh, these two vertical bars right here. So this says the absolute value of x. And it, uh, it just represents the distance x is from 0 on a number line. And remember, distance is always positive, so absolute values are always going to be positive. So for example, both 5 and negative 5, here's negative 5, it's 5 units from 0. Here's positive 5, it's 5 units from 0. So the absolute value of negative 5 equals 5, and the absolute value of positive 5 also equals 5. Okay? Absolute value is just always a positive result. So here is the definition of absolute value. It can be defined as a piecewise function. Now don't let this confuse you too much. Let's see if we can break it down. So, so this says when x is positive, when it's greater than or equal to 0, then whatever this number is, then it equals that number. If it's a negative number, then whatever this negative number is, this says it's opposite that number. So for example, negative 5, the absolute value of that is, is opposite negative 5. That's all this says. So if it's negative, if it's less than 0, then whatever this number is, then you take the opposite of that. That's what that says right there. So um, uh, to be confusing with this definition, just unconfuse it and just think the absolute value of negative 8, how far is negative 8 from 0 on a number line? It equals 8. Okay, up here if I plugged in negative 8, that would be this piece because it's less than 0, so it's opposite negative 8, which is positive 8. Or negative negative 8 is positive 8, okay? Again, don't let this con definition confuse you too much. It's just positive. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of 4 and 8 is 4 and 8. Okay, so there's that right there. Then they'll ask you to plot those points on the graph. So this is how we graph this. So negative 8, 8 would be to the left, 8, up, 8. Notice these are going by 2's. Negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Okay, negative 4, neg negative 4, 4 would be right there. Here's 0, 0. Here's 4, 4. Here's 8, 8 up there. Okay, so there's all those points, and if you connect them, it always makes a V. Absolute values always make a V-shaped graph. Okay, so this graph is symmetrical with what? It's symmetrical with the Y-axis. Symmetrical just means this side is a mirror image of that side right there. Okay, so when it's symmetrical with respect to the Y-axis, and it's said to be an even function, okay? I don't know why the book chose to put even functions in here. I didn't see it anywhere else, so at least in this model, module I haven't. But I'll talk about even and odd functions in just a second here. So what's our domain? Okay, remember domain is how far does it go to the left and to the right? Well, it goes to the left forever and to the right forever, so it's all real numbers. Okay, so in the interval notation, we'd write it like this. Okay, so it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. And remember, you always have parentheses right here. Or you can just say it's all real numbers. Okay, the range, it goes up forever, but it doesn't go down forever. It goes down to zero, including zero. So, um, you can say it's y is greater than or equal to zero, or you can say it's a set of all uh, non-negative real numbers, or you can use interval notation uh, with a bracket from zero to infinity right there, okay? Because zero is being included right there. All right. So, if it, what's even and odd? Well, even functions, you guys, if, if it's if you can, uh, it's symmetrical with respect to the y-axis. A graph is uh, or a function is called an even function, and algebraically, just means um, uh, f of negative x equals f of positive x. Okay, don't worry about that too much right there. But look, here's. Here's say this is uh, this point right here is at negative one one. Well, this point is at one one. Okay, that's all this stuff does right there. Okay, an odd function means it's respected. Uh, it's uh, it's symmetrical with respect to the origin, which just means you guys, if I turn this 180 degrees, this side would fall right down on this side. Or this side, if I turned it 180 degrees, man, if I can rotate it, and rota it would rotate right up there. That's what an odd function is, respect to the origin, even as respect to the, uh, re I'm sorry, symmetrical with respect to the, the y-axis. All right, again, don't worry about even odds. I don't know why the book chose to put it in there, but it did. I'm sure there's a reason in there sooner or later. Okay, so let's graph again y equals f of x, or f of x equals, I'm sorry, the absolute value of x. 
f of x is the same as y, so y equals the absolute value of x. So negative 3, the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. The absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. And when we graph it, it makes a nice V-shaped graph. All right, notice that there's no number in front of here. It's assumed to be 1. Well, when it's 1, that means we go over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. Same on this side, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, okay? If it's a negative, it just says it goes it goes it's like negative 1 so it goes it goes down 1 over 1 down 1 over 1 that negative tells us to go down so when it's negative just flip this upside down right there all right so now i'm going to stray away from your textbook a little bit so i pulled out a lesson from one of my algebra 2 lessons which is an algebra 1 lesson also uh, so you're going to see some graphs i pulled out of one of those lessons here so we're going to transform. This is a little bit different than the book. The book does this weird fraction stuff. It just was awkward for me to teach it that way. So us uh, algebra uh, teachers at my high school decided we're going to teach it our old school way. So anyways, I'll teach it old school way and we'll insert some of the new school, your textbook stuff. So this is from my old book. All right, f of x equals a times x minus h plus k. Okay, so the vertex, where the vertex or the sharpie of the, the graph goes, the v shape, the v part right Right down here is this number comma this number right here okay and then if a is positive then the V opens up if a is negative then the V opens down and the larger a is the more narrow so if that's like 3 then my V is going to be a skinny V it's going to be a more narrow V graph and say that was a fraction like 1 half it's going to make it open up wider and I have several examples we'll do that right here all right so let's graph this okay first find the vertex all right what I like to do to get it in this form x minus h this is x minus a minus 4 okay and then here's my plus k which is negative 2 so let's put it in that form x minus a minus 4 so we can see that the vertex is hk negative 4 negative 2 now what I like to think of is opposite same okay so opposite same is is going to be negative 4 negative 2 so go to the left 4 down 2 and since this is a, a positive right here then we go it goes up one over one up one over one on both sides up one over one up one over one okay so there it is right there all right let's try another one here okay so this one is there's no number so the vertex is at zero zero and this negative three just tells us that we're going to go down three over one treat that negative three as down three over one from the vertex down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1 on both sides, and then make your V, okay? It's negative, so it just tells us it opens down. All right, here's one that's um, positive. Okay, the vertex, there's no numbers, there's no HK, so the vertex is at 0, 0. This says go up 1 over 2 on both sides. So I'm going to go up 1 over 2 because it's positive up one over two so it makes it a wider v-shaped graph okay let's try one with some other numbers in here okay so the vertex is opposite same so so uh, positive one three so if we go over one up three there's the vertex right here it's going down it's going down two over one so from this vertex we go down two over one on both sides okay so there it is right there so down 2 over 1 on both sides right there. That's what that negative 2 means right there. Okay? All right, so now we're, let's do one from the textbook here. So here's one from the textbook. The vertex is at opposite same, so 5, negative 2. Now be careful. This graph is going by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8. The other ones are going by 1s, okay? So negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8 right there. So when I go over 5, opposite same, over 5, down 2, Here's 4, here's 6, so 5 will be right there, then down 2. There's the vertex right there at 5, negative 2, opposite same. Okay, that 4 says uh, that we go uh, up 4 over 1 on both sides. So I'm going to go up 4. Remember, these are going by 2s. So 2, 4 over 1. So I'll put a point there, which is going to be at, um, at 4, comma 2, and then over here is going to be at uh, 6 comma 2 okay and then just make your v-shaped graph right there okay 
All right, let's try another one from this. All right, so now this one here, you guys, remember, this negative one half, you can pull that out, but since we're pulling it out of the absolute values, it's a negative chopper. So since the absolute value of negative one half is positive one half, then this is the same graph as this right here, if I pull that negative one half out right there. Okay, and then uh, so, so opposite same, so negative three one. So we're gonna go, uh, uh, to the left three up one okay and then we're going to use this and go from there we're going to go up one to the right two on both sides okay just be careful that negative one half comes out as a positive one half up one this is where I'm straying from the book a little bit you guys I think this way is a little bit easier up one to the right two on both sides so these are going by twos so up one to the right two on both sides okay there it is right there and then just make your v-shaped graph right there alright if you are in my class you're going to get a worksheet on this lesson. Take care. Hope that made sense.